started a rodeo. Can you tell us a little bit about Back that? in 1990, when meeting Mr. Ladding. Mr. Ladding was looking for someone in Memphis, Tennessee, that uh, was interested in working to help bring a rodeo, a black rodeo that had a pageantry with it to an inside facility. Thurl Ladding and Mike Ladding and the Ladding family is out of Robinson, St. Anne's, Illinois. They've been producing uh, local rodeos in the Midwest for many, many years. They had uh, their own livestock. They had their own transportation, their own bulls, their own bucking horses, their own cat, uh, calves. Uh, they had a breeding program for bucking horses and bucking bulls. He said that if I was interested to, to meet him at a certain place. And when I got the message, I was excited about it because I had been exposed to rodeo and I wanted people here in Memphis and some of the other surrounding states, Mississippi, Arkansas, to experience what I had experienced with that black rodeo. I sat down with him. He gave me a blueprint of what he was interested in trying to do. I had to get sponsors. So I went to work and I got sponsors. Um, some of the sponsors that I got during that time were uh, Coors Brewery. Coors had a beer out called the Silver Bullet. Mr. Ladding had a bull that was a gray, brawny bull, Brahma bull. We named that bull the Silver Bullet because Coors was our primary, one of our primary sponsors. This rodeo had, uh, was going to be on the inside, had spotlights, had an orchestra. It had uh, scenes of the great stagecoach riding. Uh, the cattle drive where cowboys would come in, uh, driving several head of cows to a certain area of the arena. All of this was done with black cowboys and cowgirls. We had a company that teamed in with us to do 50 billboards across the uh, city uh, and county. Uh, we had radio stations that teamed in with us. This was a big deal that no one had ever even envisioned. It all came together. And in 1991, we put on the first black rodeo in Memphis, Tennessee, called the Earl Ladding Rodeo Spectacular. And it was a history lesson that made black people very proud to see their heritage be a part of. In the process of doing that, I took black cowboys Brought them into town a week or two before the, a week before the event in February, and we went out to schools. I had them to uh, talk to school kids throughout the city and county uh, of Shelby and Memphis. And uh, these kids, as well as the teachers, some of them had never seen a black cowboy. And some of their remarks was that, there are no real black cowboys. They never saw this on TV. Not only did they use those cowboys and cowgirls, they competed for $20,000 of prize money. And we had cowgirls and cowboys as far as uh, California to come in and all over the country. So that's what got me into rodeoing. 